Namaskaram. In this Agni Initiative video, we are going to explore about hash card or winter melon and why having this is very very beneficial for one's energy levels and also for overall health and well-being. So ash card or winter melon as it's commonly called, this is uh, available in uh, many regions of the world, especially in India, China, such countries, this is very commonly available and you will see that uh, this is uh, uh, this is coated with uh, like ash kind of uh, substance outside so which is why it is called as ash card and in yoga as you must be aware of we look at foods in terms of positive pranic negative pranic or zero pranic positive pranic substances are those which increase the life energy of prana in the system and they should be consumed on a regular basis negative pranic substances they decrease the life energy and they should be avoided and zero pranic neither increase nor decrease they are neutral so among the positive pranic foods uh, one of the most highly positive pranic foods is ash card or winter melon so this is, that is one of the reasons why it is suggested to have ash card as part of your daily diet so there are many many benefits of having ash card so this is predominantly about 96 percent of it is water and it has many benefits it has a lot of minerals and, ex and uh, in terms of nutrition it can do wonders to your health so how you can have ash card is uh, there are many ways you can make a juice out of it and uh, you can also add it uh, to salads you can make sweets out of it so basically or you can make smoothies etc so since this uh, this doesn't have much of a taste on its own this can easily blend with anything else so one thing we generally suggest for people who are especially on the yogic path is to have ash card juice on a daily basis first thing in the morning if you have ash card juice you will see that it will energize you but it won't leave you agitated or uh, you know especially like coffee for example coffee if you have early in the morning it will definitely energize you but the after effects of coffee can be easily felt it will make you jittery so uh, this is something you know which will energize you make you much more alert but you will not have those side effects so this is one of the best things which you can have in the morning and especially if you have children at home it's it's really really beneficial that they have ash card juice on a daily basis so see if you can include this as part of your diet it cleanses the system and if you have it in the morning you will see that it will increase your intellectual awareness as well so generally it was considered that people who have ash card regularly it can enhance their intelligence and uh, this was something which was considered uh, you know one of those foods which uh, people uh, thought it has it has a lot of prana pranic energy or positive uh, pranic energy and that is why they also used it at, uh, for many other things as well at home for example you must have seen this um, whenever you do an inauguration especially in indian homes you will see that whenever you inaugurate a home you usually find an ash card hanging at the entrance of the door or they will you know break the ash card in the inauguration ceremony or something like that because one of the reasons was because it was considered to have a lot of um, high pranic energy and uh, if you use that it kind of wards off any negative energies if any present at home so it's good if you do that if you use it for that purpose but uh, won't it be even better if you put it inside your stomach so that is the reason why we are suggesting to have ash card on a daily basis so if you have this ash card juice uh, one another advantage you will see is that it cools down your system tremendously it energizes your system and also cools down your system so uh, so if you are having a heat excess heat in your system or heat related problems like constipation boils or you know similar problems piles so these are heat related problems so if you are having such kind of problems also it can help by consuming ash card juice because it will cool down the system if you are having uh, problems like asthma sinus cold where you tend to catch cold easily 
then it's better that when you have ash card juice you reduce the cooling property to some extent by adding pepper or honey to it if you add a little bit of pepper or honey to the ash card juice it will reduce the cooling property to some extent so if you're susceptible to catching colds or if you have any in winters then you can do that but otherwise in summers it will go very well it will cool down the system it will energize you so it's a uh, uh, it's something which you can have very easily uh, we'll also share the ash card juice making recipe with you along with this video so you can try this out it's best to consume ash card in its raw form for maximum nutrition and energy but you can also make many other things out of it for example uh, uh, you know in india uh, they also uh, especially in the northern part of india they call it as petha and uh, it's very uh, the sweets made out of this are very famous if you have been to agra there uh, one of the most uh, famous uh, specialities is petha or these sweets made of ash card so it can be made into sweets also it can be made into a halwa or a sweet dish many other dishes also you can try out we'll share a link to an article which includes some of these recipes and you can try them out you can make ash card salad you can uh, so you can try out various ash card recipes at home you can definitely do that but uh, if you can uh, have it in the raw form or having the juice in having the juice form you will see that will be more beneficial for you so try this out and see everybody at home can benefit from this see if you can make it a part of your diet like first thing if you're having in the morning well, before you start your breakfast just have you know ash guard juice that's the best thing or at any other time of the day also if you wish to have you can have it especially in the afternoon if you're looking for a quick uh, boost in energy levels you can even have that during that time so any other time also you can have but it's best if you have it in the morning you'll see the effect throughout the day if you have school going children at home they can take this at uh, in the morning before going to school instead of having milk or other uh, products uh, dairy products they can have something like this it will be very energizing for them and they'll be much more alert and sharp so try this out and see and uh, let us know how your experience has been in implementing this namaskar If you eat food and your body feels very agile and alive, that means it's good food, body is liking it. If you eat something, it feels dull, that means it's not liking it, it's having difficulty with it, that's why it feels dull. Namaskaram. For those of you looking to explore about food in depth, we also have an online program on food called as ahar so we have a website called as ahar.yogire.com which will have more details about this program if you are looking uh, to grow on the path of yoga then food is as important as sadhana so it's very important that you uh, see what kinds of foods to eat which can assist you in this inner journey and uh, more importantly also how to eat so we'll be looking at this in depth in this online program and this can be done from the comfort of your home from wherever you are you can log in and do this program so uh, if you ex if you wish to explore this in depth please uh, log in to our ahar website and you can see if this is something which can help you take a step towards your inner growth 
and uh, we hope that the simple process of eating can also become a stepping stone towards your ultimate well-being. Thank you so much. Namaskar.